I miss camping. I miss putting tents up, I miss sitting in a field, I miss building a giant pioneering project climbing frame and then shouting at you all to get off it because too many of you use it at once. I miss driving around the English Riviera listening to German techno pop and then singing 60s folk songs in the marquee afterwards. I miss loads of things from camp. But something we can do to make it better is cook a bit of good old fashioned traditional scout food. Carbonara. So the recipe that we're using isn't exactly the one that we use on camp because Nick keeps that a closely guarded secret. Start by putting three eggs into a bowl and cracking a fourth egg, but just using the yolk from this one. Then whisk it together using a fork to make sure it reaches a good consistency and it's a good opportunity to show off slow-mo on your camera. Very exciting. Next up is the cheese. We're going to grate 100 grams of cheese in total. I've gone for 50-50 of pecorino and parmesan. And obviously sped it up here because it will take ages to grate it all. Then add your eggs to the mixture and give it a good stir for the same consistency throughout the sauce. So keep going until it's nice and smooth. Should start to smell delicious and cheesy. When we do make this on camp, the size of the blocks of cheese is something to behold, which is why we're going to add a little uh, bit of ground pepper, but no salt into this particular sauce. We're gonna have lots of salt from the bacon anyway. in with the black pepper and onto spaghetti. Check this out, if you twist it, it makes a very pretty pattern in the pan. Isn't that nice? Hmm. Put the lid on until it reaches the boil and when it does, keep stirring it round to try and keep the spaghetti as loose as possible. Next up is bacon. Now the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that the eggs and the cheese are somehow back to the way they started in front of me. That's because I did this in the wrong order. As always kids, do what I say, not what I do. Dice up the bacon until it's in nice chunks. Bit of oil in a frying pan. Put the pan on, down to medium heat and pop the bacon in, ready to start cooking. You'll see all the lovely flavour start to release from the bacon. And when it is cooked, turn the pan off. And when the spaghetti is ready, you can add that to the pan as well. Lots of people tell you to throw spaghetti at the wall to see if it's cooked. You should probably just eat a little bit. It makes more sense, makes less mess. Just better. On camp we tend to use pasta shapes instead of spaghetti. It makes it easier to dish out and makes it easier to eat, I suppose. But we've gone for a more authentic kind of recipe today. Stir the bacon into your spaghetti. And then add your sauce when the heat is off on the pan. You're going to use your spatula to stir in as much of the sauce and the heat from the spaghetti and uh, whatever heat's left in the pan is going to cook all the egg for you, so you don't need to worry about that. Stir it in until all of the spaghetti's got a nice, even coating. And once again, enjoy some gratuitous slow motion. The portions that I've gone with today probably about right for two people if you're cooking for more obviously for four just double it and there should be plenty to go around now here's a little trick if you've got a carving fork use that to twirl up the spaghetti I've put a metal ladle underneath so as not to damage my pan just helps pick it all up from the pan without dropping it all everywhere I've probably put a little bit too much on this plate I was trying to make it look impressive for you lot then use the tongs to get an extra couple of bits of bacon from the bottom of the pan, add it on, maybe a little bit of the sauce as well if there's any left. 
and finally grate a little bit of parmesan on top. There you have some traditional carbonara. Enjoy! Enjoy!